Hey everybody, um, how are you doing today? Hope it's, uh, hope it's going well for you. My name is David McKenzie and uh, I'm here at Beyond the Beat Studio in Music School and I thought I would do a little instructional lesson on how to play an open D tuning. So the way you achieve this tuning is um, what you do is you, you, you tune, basically you tune your whole guitar to a D chord. So, um, so the low string uh, is a D note. So that's normally an E note. Um, so what you have to do is you have to you have to release the tension um, for two half steps, which are basically like two frets, until it sounds like a D string, but it's a little lower. Uh, the A string you leave the same, and the D string you leave the same, and the G string goes down one half step, which is a semitone, which is like the distance of one fret. So the so the G string goes down to an F sharp. Um, the B string goes down two semitones or two half steps to an A, and then the high E string goes down to a D. So that's how it works. Um, so it's D A D F sharp A D, and it's very pretty. Um, so basically, there's a few little tricks that I wanted to share with you just for for getting going uh, on on the open tuning and and just sort of how to have fun. Um, some of the other videos uh, that I just did recently on uh, droning a D and, and playing out of a major scale and then also uh, major and minor thirds while droning the low D are basically little videos that are leading up to this, but I wanted to go a little deeper. So um, where should I start? Maybe I'll start at the beginning. So you have all these different notes in the open position um, and you don't have to move your hand around the neck. Um, and, and it allows you to do some sort of fancy melodic stuff. So um, I'll teach you how to just do the D major scale in the key of open D. So here's an open D, uh, and then it's E, and then F sharp, and then G. So you're gonna go open, second, fourth, fifth, open, second, fourth, open, second, open, first, open, Second, fourth, open, second, fourth, fifth. Those are that's sort of the scale, so and uh, so you can get a finger picking pattern going and you can sort of hammer and pull off and slide and do anything you want, right, with uh, with all of those notes, uh, while this while the sort of chord is being played. So kind of cool. Um, another nice thing that you can do within the key is, uh, is again, these major and minor thirds ascending or descending. So um, on your D and your F sharp string, which would formerly be your G string, um, you, uh, you can just play them just open and that's the first major third. So uh, and then on the, on the second fret on the D string and the first fret on the F sharp string, um, you get a, a, a little minor third, and then that minor third can be moved up a whole step, so that's the distance of two frets to uh, fourth and third. So here you go, open, and then that's the fourth and third. And then you move up a semitone, uh, one fret, and you play your D and your F sharp string in the fifth fret. So, um, and then that sounds nice with the other open strings. And then that can be moved up a tone, which is two frets. And then um, uh, you can go up. You go up another tone, but you play a minor third. So here you're on the ninth fret on the D string, and the eighth fret on the uh, F sharp string. And then that moves up a tone to the eleventh fret on the D string and tenth fret on the F sharp string. And then you move up a semitone to the twelfth fret, and you play both your D string and your F sharp string in the 12th fret. And you can strum over it, you can dust over it like this. Like. Or you can 
pick. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can do anything. You can slide them around. Uh, you can play. modulated didn't mean to but it actually sounded good um, so that's kind of cool you can leave the key while you're in the key so if you um, if you play your oh before we even do that um, I'm gonna show you another little trick so with those major and minor thirds you can um, you can also add the octave on the low D string so so here's just open and then you play the second fret on your low string and then you play that first little minor third that I taught you. And then that whole shape moves up. So you're always playing. You're always playing the low D string and you're just playing the major scale with these. So. And it just gives it a nice richness. Now normally on the fifth fret, it's a, it's a G major chord, which is quite pretty, sort of a suspended, sort of open sound there. But um, for, for what I did in that little uh, demo that I did before this video, is I played a G minor. So here I flatted the F sharp string from the fifth fret to the fourth. So just your regular minor shape, but uh, on, the, uh, on the fifth fret, but it should be major in the key, and it sounds quite cool. So. No real rules you know you sort of isolate where the bad notes are the notes there's no bad notes but the notes that you don't like the sound of and you just kind of avo avoid them I mean that's really like the easiest way to play um, another really nice thing that you can do is um you can play the, the major scale on the top string There's another nice thing you can do. Um, you can get major chords just by barring the uh, all of the strings um, in any fret. And uh, I use my second finger to help my first. It's a it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to sort of push all those strings down. Um, another note that I should have for you is when you're tuning your guitar to this tuning. Um, it's really wacky. It kind of gets out of tune. Uh, it's, it's difficult to get it to settle. Uh, the reason is when your guitar is in standard tuning, there's a lot of pressure uh, on the headstock. So the, the strings are all pulling on the, on the headstock. And um, when you start releasing the tension on the other strings, the strings that you haven't released tension on go up in pitch because the headstock pulls back further and the neck straightens out. So when you're going into the tuning, make sure that you really saddle the strings, give them a little bend, um, tune, go over the tuning at least three times until the, the strings settle. That way you won't have any mishaps on stage or, or in the studio when you're trying to record or, or perform. Uh, it's a shame to, uh, to get into the tuning and then uh, get into your set on stage and find that you're, you're slipping out of tune. So uh, hopefully... Hopefully this all helps. Um, thanks for, for tuning into the video, and please uh, please subscribe to the page and like you know and like it. And don't say mean things, right? And have fun playing uh, playing around with this. I, I really truly hope that you enjoy it and you get a lot out of it. So uh, signing off. Uh, my name is Dave McKenzie from Beyond the Beat Studio, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. Don't know what it will be, but it it'll come out soon. All right, take care. Bye bye.